Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy the Dog Man, and I'm bringing back VG News. And right now, this one is going to be kind of um, eh, up there in a way, I guess. I don't know. Um, as of most of you already heard, Halo 5 will not have any split screen in it at all. Really, really baffles because Halo 1 through 4 and ODST has split screen. Either be co-op or multiplayer, local multiplayer, all that shit. Well, here's why Halo 5 has no split screen at all. Halo 5 Guardians is doing away with split screen, a feature that has basically synonymous with Halo. I said it wrong, but whatever. Work with me. This announcement drew heat from some fans. Now developer 343 Industry has responded. In a post on Halo Waypoint, the developer said dropping split screen was an incredibly tough decision but explained that it was necessary to provide the best experience for, for to play. See, I hate that. I hate when motherfuckers actually say that. Well, we have to sacrifice something that you that you love and enjoy so you can have something that you love and enjoy. We don't, we don't maybe we had to sacrifice. Nobody cared about split screen. Well, it has a point. Everything's always fucking internet now, so who cares? You can't go to your buddy's house and play the fucking game. You have to watch them. Or get one of your fucking own and get a good internet so you can play with them. He said... <laughs> He says the decision to remove split screen support from Halo 5 Guardians was one of the most difficult ones that we've ever had them do as a studio. Executive producer Josh Holmes says, We know that for many of our fans, Halo is meant playing together with friends in the same room. We all have great memories of the past Halo split screen multiplayer matches. To move Halo's gameplay forward and deliver a true next gen experience, as that word again, tough choices had to be made, he added. Our decisions was driven by a desire for scale fidel fidelity, Woo. and focused to ensure that we would never we would deliver the best quality experience possible. See, they're screwing you to not screw you. Holmes went on to say that Halo Five is massive scale environments, better visuals, and improved AI may not be uh, ugh, may not be able to be realized if split screen was in the mix. How in the living fuck? But if you add in split screen, make sure AI. This is supposed to be next gen shit, not last gen, not not current, not last gen. This is current gen shit, and you're telling me that you can't put split screen in a game that's mainly based on split screen because it will fuck up visuals in the AI and the scale. He says some other shit, but it's this is garbage. Um, Halo 5 release date is still set for October 27th for Xbox One. Eh, I don't. That's not that. That's not a given. A good reason why I, I don't accept that reason at all. But moving on from that shit, Borderlands and Castle Crashers backwards compatibility on Xbox is leaked. Slowly but surely, more and more games are being added to the roster of backwards compatible Xbox 360 titles on the Xbox One. Whether these announcements are official or leaks, mind you, this is basically just a fucking rumor. Doesn't seem to matter much, just as long as they come with a few pictures. Right? We got pictures. Today we have an edition of Borderlands and Castle Crashers, two very different games with a large fan base. Yes, Borderlands, that's why they redid the Handsome Jack collection for the Xbox One, for those who didn't have, was not able to get the pre-sequel, which came out around the same time Xbox One did. Like me, I didn't get a chance to get it, not damn sure I'm gonna go back to play my 360 just to play it, I was gonna just miss out on that one, but they did it. You know it came with Borderlands 2, but it made sense. Um. Yeah, and Castle Crashers, holy shit, I love it. I, they put anim they when they put Alien Hominid on there, that was the first thing I downloaded and I played that again. It's fucking fun, man. Um, yeah, the Borderlands and Castle Crashers are two different games with a large fan base. Personally, cannot wait to romp I cannot wait to romp romp through Castle Crashers again when it shows up on Xbox One. Very good game. Deletes come from solo Xbox One, which appears to be a Spain-based Xbox news site run by some fans, you'll see Spanish and the watermarks and the image that they gave. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it on there. If I if I can, bam, there it is. I doubt I'd be able to, but hey. uh, those two are a great addition to the lineup if it's genuine. Uh, but if it's not, oh, well. but you already know what's gonna be coming anyway. I mean, I mean, they they they're gonna get it like that. Red Dead 
Black Ops 1 and 2, probably Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Um, what else? Um, pretty sure they're gonna throw some, 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 some other stuff in there like Mass Effect. You know, Dead Island. Be in time for Dead Island 2 coming out. Boom, there you go. And the last little bit of news, which kind of really aggravates the shit out of me. Fallout 4. Bethesda literally cannot make any more Pip Boy units. Fuck, I should have got my free order in that fucking chance. Man, I got the money now. I just didn't get the fucking whatever. Fallout 4 buyers who missed out on the collector's edition will not get another chance. Yeah, just rub my face in it, watch. Fallout 4's extra fancy special edition, which includes a Pip Boy smart bump, smartphone mount, is sold out everywhere. The demand and some retailers and the inability to cope with it has left some fans really pissed off, like me. Why won't Bethesda take their money? I'm not that whiny, but, you know, you get the idea. The answer is, it wants to, but just can't make any more Pip Boys. Speaking of GameStop, Bethesda's boss, Pete Hines, said to the publisher, reordered a couple of times, but the manufacturer simply cannot fit another production product in their schedules. He quoted on the saying, we reached a point where we'd go back to the factories, and they were like, guys, this is it. Sorry, this is as long as we can run lines and as many as we can make. The exclusive, uh, the executive said, the Pip Boy editions are still in production right now, but the publisher has sold through every single one that they have, despite potentially ordering more than any Bethesda limited edition before. <sighs> he went on to saying again, we made a shitload of Pip Boys. I'm not kidding you, that's what he said. We made a shitload of Pip Boys, and we went back and made more, and we went back and made more. I think we did more of these things than we did any other collective edition ever. And if you missed it, you're still, if you missed that and you're still smarting, please do click. There was a link above. I don't, and just to get his full context, it ain't to get no more. It just, I'm not even going to link the shit. It's just to get him what he was understanding more. Blah, 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 blah. Fallout 4 arrives on PC, PS4, and Xbox One November 10th. <sighs> When the vast majority of us will probably ignore the sex and screen functions altogether. I would ignore it. I would still be like have enough to have my pit boy on the side of my phone. What well, having a wrist, but you know. Yeah. Can't do that now now, can you buddy? Well that's all we got for tonight. Damn, I sound like Stone Fox Media. What the fuck? Uh check out Stone Fox Media by the way. That's one of the inspirations about this. VG News I've been doing, but, you know, just, you know, check out some of the videos I got on there. I'm doing Crash, and um, AVGN. Yeah, and I got some, um, some working on a Tomba gameplay. And maybe Banjo-Kazooie. You know, how about that? And, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Like up, thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know if anything you want me to cover on, and I'll be out. Peace!